Hello and welcome back to your 365 Coach and today we've teamed up with our friends over at 3CX showing how we can integrate Microsoft 365 with 3CX making it easy to synchronize user accounts, calendars and free busy information alongside all of your important contacts. So whether you're looking to streamline communication or just improve how you're going to communicate with customers using 3CX, this tutorial has got you covered. But first, if you've not heard of 3CX, well, 3CX is an open platform phone system that works seamlessly with IP phones and SIP trunks, whether on-premise or in the cloud. And with 3CX, you can take your office communications to the next step, especially when we integrate it with Microsoft 365 to bring in all the information we've mentioned. Now, if the thought worries you about integrating Microsoft 365, don't worry. I'm gonna talk you through step-by-step step from creating our first account on 3CX to enabling the permissions in the Microsoft 365 tenant, and then also showing you how to sync that important information. And not only that, looking at it through the lens of the end user, what happens once we synchronize that in the web client in 3CX, and how does that work as well? Well, I'm gonna be showing you all of that information in the tutorial to get you started and up and running. And remember, if you find this video helpful, please hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe to find more great content like this. Once you've created your free CX account, we're going to go ahead and set up a new subscription. Now here we need to define the subscription itself. I'm going to choose from a free CX hosted, meaning I can actually integrate with Microsoft 365 when I select this option. Once I've done that, I'm going to define my domain name and location. We're then going to have to define the number of extension numbers that we need, ensuring that this is set correctly because we can't change it later. So here I'm going to go and set three digits so that up to 999, but 30 are reserved for the system. Once we've done that, it'll start creating our new subscription. And we'll now see a timer on the screen as it sets up that new subscription for us. Now, as that timer comes down, you'll see it move through these different areas. We're now doing our final step of configuring the firewall. And once it's set up, you'll get a login page with the login details we'll need to access the free CX system. So keep those handy. So let's get started and integrate our subscription with Microsoft 365. Now, when I'm logged in to 3CX, I can go down and select the admin option at the bottom of the screen. Now here, I'm gonna go and have a look at our users. And what we'll actually find is there's no user but the one I created right at the start. We're gonna change that by integrating it with our directory inside of Microsoft 365, bringing all of our accounts into 3CX's dashboard. Now to do that, we're gonna go over and select the M console link. Once you've done that, it'll then prompt you to sign in to that free CX account for security purposes. You'll then get your free CX dashboard open, showing you metrics and other information about your subscription use. We're gonna go down and select settings, and then under integration, select Microsoft 365. Now at this point, it can be quite tempting to go and set up sync, but we haven't set up the integration yet with Microsoft 365. So go to the top and select click here to provision 365 access. On here, you'll now need to review the permissions you're giving to the tenant and also use a global admin account, ensuring you consent on behalf of the organization. If you're happy with those permissions, you can accept this dialog and at which point it will start the setup and the synchronization between 365. Then when you select back, you return back into your 3CX dashboard where we can get started and set up all of the sync for all of those user accounts. Let's get started and sync some data. Now that we've set up our integration with Microsoft 365 with the permissions, I can go ahead and begin to sync our Microsoft 365 users. And I've selected here to sync the user photo and the also the office phone extension. And I also can select a subset of users or all users. I'm quite happy to sync all of my users. I now need to define who the administrators are that have access to all of those important settings. And once again, using those 365 accounts, I can select from the appropriate people. We can also check out contact sync and ensure that our personal contacts coming from Outlook are gonna be synchronized into 3CX. And we can also even set shared mailbox contacts to appear in the company phone book. Now we can also move forward into calendar sync. It's really important to show when your colleagues and yourself are busy in meetings. 
So here we can also synchronize your calendar from Outlook. So if you're in a meeting, you will appear as DND or do not disturb inside of FreeCX. Now with all of that then set up, we're now gonna synchronize our content. It's worthwhile noting that the user sync, i.e. accounts happens once a day in the evening but the other information will be synced across in real time, such as your calendar information, to ensure your availability stays up to date. So how does this look and feel? Well, here I'm signing into the FreeCX web client. We can also now see I can search for colleagues. They've been imported from Microsoft 365, and Pradeep is also one of my colleagues that's been imported from 365. Likewise, I can go to the bottom and select contacts, and these two contacts you're gonna see in a moment have been synchronized directly from my Microsoft Outlook contact book. So having that available and synchronized into FreeCX straight from Microsoft Outlook. But equally, we can see at the moment my availability is showing as being available. But I'm gonna go ahead and add a calendar entry for into my calendar. That now makes me busy. And I shown immediately in FreeCX's web client and now shows me as do not disturb, effectively that red icon being synchronized directly from my calendar availability into the FreeCX web client, ensuring your availability stays up to date when you're in meetings. And there we have it. We now synchronize FreeCX with Microsoft 365, bringing in user accounts, calendars, and contacts, all important areas to improve how you're gonna use FreeCX's phone platform in the future. If you like this video, please do hit that like button and don't forget to follow for more and to check out more on the FreeCX website.